Hello and welcome to PlayStation Access. I'm Rosie and I'm here with the ever lovely Elle. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and right in front of us we have a CTR Nitro Fueled, which is very exciting. Oh my goodness. It's, I'm so excited about I this. No, it's so cool. Yeah. So last week Elle and I had the privilege to try out some more tracks. We were given four new fresh tracks to try out. This one being uh, Papu's Pyramid, the second boss battle course in the original CTR. And more importantly, we did it all online as well. We did. Which took was people great on. fun. Took people on. So, yeah, at the moment, we're just sort of getting used to the controls, as you always do in these stages. <laughs> yeah, especially me, because I, this is the thing, I haven't played CTR before, so I've literally played it like once or twice at friends' houses when I was a kid, but I never had it. So, like, lots of people who turned up for the day, they were really familiar with it. They were, like, ready to go instantly. Yeah. And so I was a little bit nervous before we started, because I was like, oh, I don't have that familiarity with it. But actually, it's so simple to pick up. Not to master, I'll be clear. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, you can, you absolutely know what you're doing after you've played like one track. And particularly Papa's Pyramid is uh, a really good one, I think. I, it was the one I enjoyed the most. It was very easy to pick up. It's still got all the traps. It's still got all the nasty stuff. Yeah, it's got gonna, all those you know, plants. <laughs> trip you up. But uh, yeah, if you want to get a feel for what you're going to be doing in CTR, this is a great level to introduce you to it. And that's the thing as well. Like this is just a game that it doesn't take that long for your trip. For those of you who have played it, it doesn't take that long for your memories just to come back. And then when they do, it just feels so good to start nailing the drifts. I mean, just then I just managed to get the three, like, drift boost speed. And I remember <laughs> thinking, yes, look at me go now. <laughs> and then I get a bit overconfident. And there's just one corner I cannot do in this one, which will be coming up in a bit because you'll see me going into the grass. But honestly, that's what this game does. Is as soon as you think you're good, it's like, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 calm down a little bit. But yeah, I think one of the things that I found really funny on the day is, as I said, I was a bit nervous. I was like, oh, I haven't really played it before. Um, and then it turned out that loads of people were not uh, not struggling, but surprised by how much the controls are kind of tightened up, how much the targeting is perhaps yeah. needing to be a little more precise in this, which I think I found in uh, the Insane Trilogy remar uh, remaster. Yes. That was something definitely there that, you know, everything's just tightened up. And so it's a little bit more tricky than you remember <laughs> in kind of the best possible way. So you're actually not at a disadvantage if you haven't played before, because I think everybody's going to need to get the hang of this, like re relearn the controls, relearn how to accurately target whilst you're drifting around a corner. Yeah, definitely, thing. definitely. But that's just something that helps make it more accessible, isn't it? Yeah, But then another thing that was like super excited about our time through was this was our first experience with a track from Nitro Kart. Uh, for example, this one is Electron Avenue, which, I mean, I haven't even played Nitro Kart since it first came out on the <laughs> PS2. Um, so seeing this track, I can't even remember it. In all honesty, I saw it and I was like, oh boy, Nitro Kart, I completely forgot about this as well. <laughs> But this one's just, it, this was, well, again, one of my favourites. And it's just because it's so fun, it's so bright, it's so busy. It's everything you kind of expect from a game like this, particularly Crash Bandicoot with the kind of visual elements you're used to there. So it's yeah, just, definitely. it was just a really enjoyable level to look at, even if sometimes I did get a little bit confused and like fall off edges. But <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the thing I really liked about this course was because it's so busy and manic, because of that, the track is really kind of long yes, in the sense yeah. that it's not as if you've got loads of sharp turns here and there, like everything, like this corner here, it's a very very large corner even though I messed it up <laughs> and so it gives you time to sort of try and plan but also look at the awesome lights and the neon-esque stuff to it it just looks gorgeous and yeah and that's what you expect from a Crash Bandicoot game because I'm a big fan of of Crash Bandicoot despite having not played CTR before you mention it in the comments <laughs> I do love Crash Bandicoot it's one of the first games I played and I think you know as a kid that's what drew me to it is you know the big colours the fun characters that you know the way it looked and apparently I have not grown up because that's still <laughs> that's still totally what I love about it to be fair I mean when we were playing this I was still quoting Dingadal and I always like to quote <laughs> Tiny and Polar I just my heart melts for all the time yeah I um, played as Cortex quite a lot didn't I because yeah, I yeah you love Cortex yeah I've got a soft spot for him but one thing that was really cool with this track as well is that there's lots of switch elements. So when I say switch elements, it's like things are constantly changing. So just then I was on like a speedy boost sort of path area, but there was also an explanation, uh, explanation I can't say the word. <laughs> there was a box with the exclamation point on it. There, there we, we go. go. And when you go over that, basically it changes something that happens in the track. So I was speeding along the track, someone triggered it, and then the path went back to being a normal speed. So I lost my boost. And you're constantly kind of being put up against things like that. And especially playing online when you know that there are people out there to get you. Exactly. Like, well, that's the thing, isn't it? Because, you know, in particular, as I was saying with the targeting, say you struggle with targeting using specific items. What you can do is exactly what you were just saying 
saying is, you know, you can just go over an exclamation point box and drop the floor out or mess yeah, up pretty the, much. you know, the boost lane that they're in. So it's it's just another way to kind of mess with people, which is a little bit annoying, <laughs> <laughs> but also lots of fun when you're the one doing it. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. And this was also the course as well, I think, Elle, when you learned about TNTs, wasn't it? Yes, because, so I did not know that you can bounce those boxes of TNT off your head. So the first time one landed on me, I was just like, well, I guess I die then. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> so yeah, very glad that they popped that little tip up on screen for me. because. <laughs> Yeah, I got hit by a lot of TNT. And then this one is again going back to the classic CTR on PS1 and looking at it, what an improvement in terms of the graphics because um, the original, it's pretty much you're just driving in a sewage tube. Like everything is <laughs> I mean, very who wouldn't want up. that, Rosie? Well, to be fair, it is like the premise of this level, but look at all the details you've got now. Like in a bit, we're going to see the rats, or like the robotic rats from Crash Bandicoot 2 climbing around the top. You've got little sewage monsters and everything like that just peeking around. And I felt quite happy in this course because I was, I was doing pretty well. I was getting those drifts in. Yes, was, we can all see, Rosie. We all see the first. <laughs> Don't worry about I was, it. I was having a good time. And then, like, just, then I just had time to look around and things. Like, even those little gangster men. Yeah. They were included as well, which is a lovely little touch. And it just, it blows my mind on how much they've improved it. Well, it's great that it still feels nostalgic, I think, which is what you want from Crash Bandicoot. You want the nostalgia. But at the same time, you do want the slick graphics. You do want it to look really good and feel feel modern without losing that kind of fun familiarity that you're used to from the old games. And so I think that in particular, this level is a really great one for demonstrating how they've done that. Like you said, with all the little touches from different yeah. games popping up here and there to, uh, to either charm you or distract you, depending on how good you are at it. <laughs> But I believe, Elle, you you weren't that keen on this on this race, were you? It punished me for getting cocky. That's what happened. What happened? So basically, I was like really happy through this section here, and I and I the first couple of times I went through, obviously did not get squished by the barrel, and then I just kind of chanced it and got flattened by it, and I was in first <laughs> place. So I was like <laughs> devastated, and then and then I lost my mojo, and I like fell off a jump and just ended up in last place. Which Rosie, thanks for bringing that up. <laughs> Thank you. Don't you just want to share your experience? With yeah. Elle? I mean, I just got like double whammy but it's okay we still have some victory here exactly still made it through still made it through with a good old bit of evidence and, <laughs> <laughs> and then the upcoming track was one which was really really tough yeah this, this one yes this is clockwork wumper from nitro cards which oh my gosh was this one tough it was unbelievably hard and it, I mean the weird thing is and I think this is kind of testament to how good the game is is that it was so much fun despite being just disgustingly difficult yeah. I mean as you're going to see there, there's a whole section of cogs coming up now Here they come. which I mean this is just a nightmare and as it turns out it's a shortcut which we <laughs> didn't realise so every single time we did that this also happens you can set traps. Yeah, the floor <laughs> falls out. So I mean, once you've made it over the cogs, you're feeling you're feeling good. You're like, do you know what? I've got this down. And then the floor falls out from underneath yep. you. But nonetheless, you still have like a great time. Like I, I think sometimes there are games where they're difficult and you feel frustrated and it's not an enjoyable experience. You're just trying to get through it. Whereas this, even though you know, even when I was struggling, even when I was falling off cogs for the hundredth time, you know, I was still, <laughs> I still just was having the best time and want, and wanted to do it again. And I think that's what's important. I think this was a great one as well because to kind of emphasize on the online sort of element of it we had a great laugh of this course because we all coincidentally picked tiny tiger yeah so when we all just saw a bunch of tiny tigers on the racetrack and also tiny is considered a let's say a difficult character to play you've got beginners and then average and then the harder tougher ones because he mainly focuses on speed rather than handling so of course for a course like this which has got loads of 90 degree angles that you have to uh, do loads of sharp yeah. turns and drifts it was a nightmare just to try and control tiny all around the course i mean why i picked him i'm not entirely <laughs> sure i need that handling let me tell you i just picked him because i really love his voice i love the <laughs> performance of all the characters yeah and I do, he just makes me so happy but i was so close to coming up to the second guy i mean like we were throwing all those electric balls and things yeah. like that at him and we were nearly there but i mean even again with this stage it just looks so atmospheric and it's well that's just, the thing isn't it it's just so like I said it is nostalgic and it does look like Crash Bandicoot but it's so they're so slick the, the levels are beautifully designed mm. they're actually gorgeous so this was CTR Nitro Fueled we hope you enjoyed this video because we know that we're very excited let us know if you like this video uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this and hit that notification bell so that you stay up to date with the world of PlayStation thank you very much for watching for the players